Hello, Hello, men. Welcome back to Boozeology. But by this point, I mean, the, like, the erection's gotta be, like, full mask yeah. for Yeah, yeah I Mad think Man so. Season 5. But. You know what I really liked was Extends. A couple years ago, I really liked those late-night commercials. You, know, you get a month's supply yeah. um, for free, free trial, and with it came the two uh, Extends energy drinks. But I really wanted to have just a fridge full of <laughs> Extends energy drinks. But they You're like, me, I don't want the shit. I don't want the pills. I just, I just, want, just the want the energy drinks. Yeah. Can you give me that? <laughs> I want the energy drinks. <laughs> and they didn't give it to me. Oh. So I tried to go online the next day. <laughs> they always say, like, okay, if, yeah. if this didn't work, how could we afford to have this business? Right. Here's the answer. They get your credit card. <laughs> Shall we start with episode five? Yeah, why not? Speaking of dicks, miracle childbirth, all that stuff. It's beautiful. I like the miracle that was going on in the waiting room. Yeah. You got your cigarette machine right there. <laughs> you got your whiskey vendors right there. I guess a little lubed up. So a cameo by the chick that does the voice for Bart Simpson. Yeah. And a little little worm comes down and she crushes it. <laughs> and then the baby is born. Yes. Uh, Huzzah, mazel tov. I want to rip it apart. You I want to rip, you I wanna wanna rip just... it apart. I want to read the subtext. I want to read the sub of the subtext. Yeah. And then put it back together into uh, something that's new and more coherent and okay. something that the um, the viewers can digest. That's what I want to do, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> also, Pete is ahead of the game on the Negro market. I don't believe you don't watch baseball. And the guys are like, ha ha ha! It's been... <laughs> Desegregated for like 15 years, bro. Six guy walks into an advertising agency. Gender will fuck with you. Gender will fuck with me. Every time. I don't ever want to go back to Thailand. I fucking hate the British. And Guy McKendrick comes in. Guy McKendrick. Greatest name ever, I think. Awful name. What? There's Michael Asbender in Mr. Homogorphus. <laughs> Gets on the John Deere lawnmower that she can't really drive. That was recently acquisitioned by uh, what's his face? Or acquired, as some people like to call it. <laughs> Turn nouns into verbs. I think it started with poop. Then someone said yeah. it's pretty good as a verb too. Pretty good as a verb too. Yeah. Lois runs over Guy McKendrick's foot with the lawnmower. Oh my god! And because he's British, like that fucker didn't deserve a foot. Oh, and he goes with. like. Uh, turns out. He'll never golf again. Never golf again. He's done in this business. <laughs> it turns out that this this cowboy that he met at the uh, blackface party is eventually going to be the grandfather of Parasol. Ah! Episode 7, 723, because they were running out of episode <laughs> Most unlikely sexual relationship. Peggy and Duck. Should we talk about duck sex for a minute? Female ducks have evolved basically like Rue Goldberg vaginas. Yeah. He says... He wants to take her clothes off with his teeth and give her a go around like she wouldn't believe. It's People like, say that. Still? Just is like waiting in Don's office with like a pen and a contract. He's like, Don, would you say that I know something about you? <laughs> I would. <laughs> sure. It's like the fucking contract, bro. Come on, man. Like, what sort of leverage do you have? Don't like, be, don't did be you forget idiot. all this stuff? Like, come on. This is inappropriate. This is how people fuck in the 60s. There that's, was no Facebook. That's what, yeah, there was no Facebook. So, Betty meets Henry Francis, he's charming, whatever. Don meets Miss Farrell, who I find somewhat insufferable. I think she's awesome. What disease do you get when you wear the same sweatpants for too long? It's like a specific disease. Astra? Don and, and Betty have a big fight. Don picks up these crazy fucking hitchhikers who are trying to avoid oh, Vietnam, yeah. and he gets punched I was punched wondering what that was. Head. Yeah. All right, let's go to Souvenir. Betty and Henry kiss for the first time. He's very presumptuous. He kind of leans in yeah, and she yeah. takes it. But then she feels bad, so yeah. she's like, Don, I want to go to Rome with you on one of your Hilton trips. So, obviously she leaves her newborn baby, and the two kids with That'll be fine. Like, Rome smells like burning tar and like, yes. garbage. Beautiful. Beautiful but city. But it's beautiful. Beautiful city. Which is a metaphor for their marriage. Mm. Do you get it? Um, which part? Oh, Betty smells like shit. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. they fuck the whole time. Betty's still sad. Betty's a cunt. <laughs> I smell to this wife in my party dress. <laughs> that was good, yeah. <laughs> you can be nice to somebody. Yeah. And then, like, in the back of your mind, like, well, if I sleep with them. Yeah, yeah. You're awesome. Like, yeah. Bonus. But the hedging part is, like, if not, That's how to be human. then I am a nice person. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Pete replaces the dress. It's like the dress might must run small, like Trudy's yeah. not size ten. Yeah. Pete's like, well, yeah, it doesn't fit her well, but she loves it. <laughs> and Joan's also just like, I don't want you telling anyone either that I work yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I'll say you oh, pizza. <laughs> and and he's like, I want you to try it out for me. Come on. Go. I, I, I got it. I listen. Say get back tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Smithers Mitchells. <laughs> oh, God, and then she cries. 